Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see how to fix a BlueStacks crashing on a Windows PC. Let's fix it guys. Method on you just need to open up Chrome and search Geek Uninstaller. Select the download option on, under Geek site. Select the zip file and download it. After getting download and select this folder, double click on the application and select yes. Right click on the BlueStacks and select uninstall option. This will help you to remove all the files created by BlueStacks. After getting completely uninstalled, just to close it off here and open up Chrome, search BlueStacks file download, select the first link, select the download BlueStacks option. After getting download and install it, after the installation done, your problem should be fixed. If not, method 2, you just need to right click on the BlueStacks and select properties. Go to compatibility tab and check mark run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 8 and check mark run this program as an administrator and select apply and ok for save changes. Now you can check if the problem is solved or not. If not, method 3 open up BlueStacks and select the 3 slash and select settings. In performance, you just need to see select this CPU allocation to medium or high based on your processor. If you have 4 core processor, then select 2 cores for BlueStack. If you have 8 core processor, then select 4 for BlueStack. And memory allocation, same thing guys. You just need to select the half of your total RAM. In my case, I have 16, so I am setting here 8. In performance mode, set this to balanced. and Turn off this enable high frame rate and disable vsync option over here and select save changes and select a restart now. After getting blue stacks open up, select this three line and select settings, graphics and make sure the preferred dedicated GPU is turned on so that your GPU is in use. And now just relaunch the blue stacks and check if the problem is solved or not. If not, method 4, you just need to go to search menu and type tan windows features on or off. Click on open it. In here, you just need to uncheck this hyper V and uncheck virtual machine platform. Check it and uncheck windows hypervisor platform. After unchecking these three options, just need to select OK and select the restart option and restart OPC. This should fix your problem guys. Don't forget to leave a like guys. Thank you.